The River Neva joins the Gulf of Finland, is one of the world's most beautiful cities, and the former Russian imperial capital, St. Petersburg. In 1991, the people of Leningrad voted in a referendum to give back to their city its original name in honor of its founder, Tsar Peter the Great, who established Russia's window on the west in 1703. For two centuries, the Tsars spared no expense in making their seat of absolute power one of Europe's most elegant capitals. But it was this extravagance that ultimately led to their downfall at the hands of the masses. The 1917 October Revolution began in St. Petersburg. When the communists finally took power, they moved the capital to the more mundane surroundings of Moscow. Facing Dvortsavaya Ploshat is the Winter Palace, the official residence of the Tsars from 1762 to 1917. Now as the Hermitage Museum, it houses one of the world's greatest art collections. The Church of the Resurrection of Christ was built on the spot where Tsar Alexander II was assassinated in 1881. The massive dome of St. Isaac's Cathedral completed in 1858, is covered with over 100 kilograms of pure gold. <music> Petrod Voretz, or Peterhof, a Russian Versailles, was the summer palace of Peter the Great and his successors. The Grand Cascade and Water Avenue a symphony of fountains and canals was partly engineered by Peter himself. All of the 140 plus fountains are fed by gravity pressured water. And it was from the Summer Palace to this station, Vitebsky, that Russia's first public railway was opened in 1837. 162 years later, in June 1999, an international group of passengers have gathered at Vitebsky to begin another momentous journey. The White Knights Steam Express will take us on a five-day, 12,000-kilometer round trip through northwestern Russia. At 11.45 p.m., our train begins its journey, hauled by an SU Class 282. Once the standard Russian passenger train locomotive 3,000 of these were built between 1925 and 1951. The next day, at midnight, we're just over 60 degrees north in latitude. The old SU-class workhorse has been replaced by a more modern and glamorous P-36-class 484. Petro-Zavodsk Peter's factory 
was founded in 1703 as an armaments manufacturing center for Peter the Great. Today, 280,000 people live in this drab Soviet-style city. In summer, they make the most of the sunny days and sunny nights. At 4.30 a.m. on June the 22nd, we cross the Arctic Circle behind an L-Class 210 before continuing another 200 kilometers north to Murmansk. <laughs> 